handle. In the second phase of the 10 meter hold, uh, the NASA docking system. Now less than three meters away. Point 0.5 meters. We have confirmation of contact and capture of NASA's Boeing crew flight test and Starliner. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. Sunny William coming through in her blue flight suit. Oh. And followed shortly behind by Commander of Starliner, Butch Wilmore. Now back on the space station, the third visit for both astronauts and the first crewed flight test of the Starliner spacecraft. Butch, Sunny, we are glad to see them all here in the International Space Station. And uh, we want to congratulate the uh, whole team uh, in different uh, motion con mission control center for launch, for docking, and uh, of the end, we are very happy. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, we are thrilled as well. Um, I'm not sure we could have gotten a better welcome. I mean, <laughs> we had music, we had Pojo, uh, Matt was dancing. <laughs> it was great. Let's go forward into Starliner, where uh, there was a little bit of action the other day. So I'm going to lead you down through the PMA, PMA 2, into Starliner. All right, going in through the <laughs> IDA, the docking adapter, and then into the spacecraft. Here we are. Looks like a lot of bags because there's a lot of packing and also this big orange thing which is our ventilation that we get uh, from the space station while we are docked to the space station. It's, uh, it looks probably a little cramped and uh, it's actually fairly roomy for just Sonny and myself with just the two of us. Uh, obviously you don't need a large cockpit so it's actually sized perfectly for us as far as for controlling the spacecraft. Uh, and of course all this other area down here earlier where you saw the baggage and whatnot is where the other couple of crew members would be for the next time the Starliner flies. Starliner, or, um, uh, Star One mission, there'll be two crew members down here. Awesome, awesome and thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you for being with us and Butch and I are again so honored to be part of this crew. One, two, three, four. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed. Associate Administrator Jim Free. Associate Administrator for Space Operations, Ken Bowersox. In the uh, vicinity of the landing site. Again, this is a, a view from a little lower than the WB-57. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. And I think, you know, from a human perspective, uh, all of us feel uh, happy about the successful landing, but then there's a piece of us, all of us, that we wish it would have been the way we had planned it. We had planned to have the mission land with Butch and Sonny on board. I think there's, depending on who you are on the team, uh, different emotions associated with that. And uh, for Steve Stitch, um, if a crew had been on board the spacecraft tonight, uh, would anything have... Obviously, when you have uh, an issues like we've had, there's some changes that need to be made. Uh, Boeing's on board with that. We're all on board with that. And I can tell you, um, when you push the edge of the envelope again and you do things with spacecraft that have never been done before, just like Starliner, you're going to find some things. And in this case, we found some things that we just could not get comfortable with uh, putting us back in the Starliner when we had other options. Uh, sunset. So they are now in an orbital nighttime, flying about 260 miles away.
Copy, hatch open. Freedom arriving. The bell has been rung. Alexander Gorbanov, the first through of Crew 9, being welcomed by Expedition 72. Next up is Crew 9 Commander Nick Haig. Welcome to the International Space Station. And Nick, welcome back home to the International Space Station. It's great to be here with bringing the 72 back up to 11. Commander Matt Dominic, as she gets suited up in her seat, ready for undock. Mind mission control to our teams at in Hawthorne, Jesse and Sandra, back over. Greetings from the International Space Station. Our crew up here just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to all our friends and family who are down on Earth and everyone who is supporting us. And of course, in a personal sense, our family, our friends, those that are lifting up prayers for us and have been, we're grateful for that. We're grateful for a nation that is a spacefaring nation that lets us live free, um, say what we think is, is important to say, and so many other things. So much to be thankful for in this season. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.